Hello ladies and gents, my name's Lost and today we are going to implement crafting. Now I've hard coded this um, because at this point I've shown you with the inventory and the quick slots how to do things that aren't hard coded. So this time I've just hard coded it all in uh, because otherwise it was just going to take far too long to get through this. So yeah, let's get started. So first add sprite craft tools and then add sprite craft light and then the pickaxe and then the axe, then the spade, and then the campfire. So if we go to object UI, in the create event, we need to add these three lines here. We're gonna have show crafting equals false, show crafting tools equals false, and show crafting light equals false. So this is gonna be for the crafting options, like the menu, so it's gonna say tools and light in the top left of the screen, as we saw in the intro. And then these, after you click that, are gonna show the things that you can craft in each uh, category. So if we head to the step event, I'm just going to pop this in. So if we press the C button, we're going to have a switch. If um, show crafting is false, we're going to set show crafting to true. If it is true, so if we can see the menu, then we're going to set it to false and we'll set the tools and the light to false as well. So we can't see any of the, cra any of the crafting options. Next up, if we head to the draw GUI event, we are going to pop this here. So again we have a couple of switches. Show crafting, so if the case for that is true then we'll draw the sprites and this is just the coordinates of where we are drawing the sprites. So this is the top left of the screen pretty much. If the tools is true then we're going to draw it basically just to the right of the category um, the current category, that's the same with the campfire as well. And these are just the coordinates to draw the sprites at. Next up, if we go to script player inventory, what we have to do is at the end of every for loop, we're going to have to say break. The reason for that is when you have break, when you specify break here, what it will do is if this is found to be true and we enter this um, these functions, then if break is there it will just stop the loop early okay whereas if if you didn't put break there what would do is um you know if the ui selected if in view i selected is equal to the the inf position you know it's it will find that multiple times and it will do this action multiple times which was a mistake so we have to make sure that once it's done it once we then break out of the loop and yeah we're just going to put this in every for loop in here at the bottom. And there we go. Next up, we need to create a new script. We're going to call it script crafting. And I'm going to copy and paste all of this in here. Now, fortunately for you, I have commented everything in here. So let's go through it. So I'm sure you're used to this code up here by now, so I'm not going to explain that again. So if we <laughs> check for the left mouse button, so if show crafting is true, which we set with the C button, if you remember, we were doing that right here with the C button. So if it's false, we set it to true. Um, now, what you're looking at here, these are just the coordinates. Um, so this coordinate here is looking, will be the first crafting tools menu at the top left uh, and this just makes sure that we've clicked that so then we say crafting tools if it's false set it to true and if it's already true then set it to false so that will display the the things that we can craft after we click the button okay and this is the same for the light just the same for the light so let's get crafting Right, so if show crafting tools is true, so this just means we can see the tools. Again, we're looking for the coordinates. So this is the very first item that we can craft. And I've made sure that it's the pickaxe, because that's where the, sh the sprite is drawn, okay? And this is looking to see if we've clicked on the pickaxe, okay? Now I've set a couple of variables, ingredient one and two. They start as false. And this is just going to make sure that we we have enough of both of the ingredients, okay? 
So we need a couple of um, loops here. So first of all, we're going to loop through the inventory once. Okay, and we're going to look for the wood. So I is going to plus one until it gets to like nine or ten or whatever. And then if in that position I equals the wood and of that wood, if there is at least three, then ingredient one is true. So we can then say that we have enough of ingredient one. Okay. And then we're going to loop through again. Um, and now we're just looking for object loop rock. And we're going to see if there's at least three rocks. Okay. And if there is, ingredient two is then true. And then obviously we're just going to break out the loop. And then we're going to say, so if ingredient one is true and ingredient two is true, so if we have enough of both of the ingredients, we're going to loop, loop through the inventory a third time. So, uh, this time, we're just saying, if there is space, so we're looping through all the inventory again, and if at one of the spots there is no one, that means there is space. Okay? So, we're going to make that space equal object pickaxe. Okay? So, uh, there you go. It's, it's stored object pickaxe. And then we're going to add one to the inventory number of K, where the pickaxe is. Okay? And then of i and j, which was i is in this case object loot wood, and j is the rock, we are just going to minus 3 from the wood stack and the rock stack. Okay? If inventory num i is less than 1, so this is the wood stack, remember, because it's i, then um, we're going to make sure that there's nothing in the space, um, so we'll set it to no one if there's less than 1. And this isn't actually required. But I'm a safety. <laughs> sure thing. And then we're just going to do the same for the wood stack. Okay. And that is then how we craft. And add it to the inventory. So now that I've just explained all that, I really hope this works. So that otherwise I'm going to look a bit stupid, aren't I? Oh, actually, actually, first of all, we need to add in here um, script crafting. Okay, so let's see if it worked. So I've had to restart the game a couple of times to make sure that the <laughs> the rock and the tree will drop enough resource. And as you can see, we have three rock and six wood. Uh, we've got three spaces left. So let's see if we can craft the the pickaxe. So let's just go through it. So I'm pressing C. That sure crafting becomes true. We click in the space that we specified in the code. And now sure crafting tools is true. And now if we click the pickaxe, in theory, it should give us one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, smashing. Right then, so yeah, that's it. There's crafting. Now, I've set a little challenge for you guys. If we go back to the code, if we look at script crafting. So as you can see here, I've put challenge time. Now, I specified the exact coordinates for clicking on the axe and the spade. Um... And, uh, and yeah, it's going to be up to you guys to get them crafting. Uh, you have an example here. I can give you a clue. It's pretty much a copy-paste job, except I'm sure... Oh, I think you'll be able to figure it out. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you next time. Hey, guys, Lost here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new and want more content like this. And please give me your thoughts down below in the comments. Catch you guys later.